Hi my friends, today we try to model this part. It is uh, somehow complicated, but you will see that it is not so complicated. The drawing is here. As you can see, there are some dimensions, an angle of 30 degrees, and here you can consider an equilateral triangle in red between the centers of the, the three circles. The contour is all tangential from this and to this curve and back to this. Every segment here is tangential with the next one. Look at a simulation. I made for you a simulation. Yes? It can be considered so. And then you bend everything to be a, somehow like here. Yes, not very okay, but so good. We have the drawing and this is all we need. Before we start, I want to show you something. A colleague of mine used uh, Katia. Katia is a very powerful CAD software, but uh, it seems to be pretty complicated with a part like this. I invite you to see the tutorial by using the uh, link I present here and then to look at my tutorial. He used Katia, I use Inventor. And you will be the judge to see which one is the simplest and natural one. We start with the, the template standard millimeter, millimeters IPT, the plane X, Z, but rotated in this orientation. Then we use the tool polygon with three sides, a triangle, starting from the center to somewhere to the right. We apply horizontal and a dimension from the drawing 10.1 millimeters home to see uh, this uh, triangle then we draw a line from the center point you know what i mean with center point this is the center point the origin it always appears in a sketch then I make something interesting. I apply construction lines to all of them. You see here fully constrained. And you also see a point in the corner of the sketch. Finish sketch. Home again to see the triangle. And this is the radius of the circle circumscribed to the triangle yes you know this from school of course good we create a plane by using xz and this line we accept the 90 degrees angle and we obtain a plane 
perpendicular on XZ and containing this side of the triangle. Click on this and select New Sketch. I apply F5 to have the same presentation for you to understand better what I do here. I project this line in my new sketch and I draw an arc by using this option center point. Center is here. You see green and this is OK. Like the traffic light. Yes. I draw uh, an arc of 180 degrees. Good. Finish sketch. This plane I don't want to see anymore. Then I create another plane using as a base the same XZ plane but this line which is the radius I mentioned before. The plane contains this radius of the circle circumscribed to the triangle. Good. I project some entities here but where I project in a sketch. New sketch. This is a way and the other is to click and select new sketch or create sketch. F5 for you to be in the same placement. I project only one point. This one. Because as I said this is the center point of the coordinate system here so it is present always in a sketch. Then I use the same tool with the center here for a new arc from the green point up and I write here 90 degrees or better without using dimensions I delete this dimension and I place this point up on the same vertical from the center. Yes, I don't have dimension of 90 degrees, but you and me know that this is a 90 degrees arc. Line from the end, horizontal, I look to the icon there and I write 10. Home. Escape. Why 10? Because 10 is the dimension from the end of a segment to the end of the part. Here 10 and here also 10. The next step is to end this sketch, hide the plane and to create another plane on this line. Plane XZ side line 90 degrees by default. A new sketch here F5 to have the same placement and then we project this point the end of the arc and be careful this line which is perpendicular on the plane that means that the point is just here the projection is a point this point very important 
Okay. We draw a line from the end of this arc up. Not important how long is because we restrict the end of the arc on the same horizontal with that new point. We don't measure anything here. Then we draw another arc from this center. You have to see green. Where is the point? Here is the point. Yes. From the end of the line, another green. Ah. Is this vertical? Let's see. I make it vertical. Nah, now it is okay. Good. An arc from this point as a center and this end of the line to somewhere here and again on the same horizontal this end with the center finished sketch what we have here look what we have I move this uh, dimension outside and this one also outside good now I use three points to create a plane one two three but I start with this one why because I have to draw an arc and a line to this direction plane from this point to this point and to this one sketch F5 and in this plane I project the end of the arc and also this point of and between these two entities. Why? Because I use again arc with the center here starting from this point and going to this point and a line from that point to outside with the length guess how long 10 on the horizontal once again I place the dimension outside very high finish sketch and we have the backbone of the part visibility plane at the end of this line sketch circle F5 from this center diameter of 5 finish sketch hide the plane visibility and we apply sweep on this and this entities yes okay we hide also this sketch 
we apply visual style shaded this and a material as in the drawing stainless steel F6 and as you know the volume must be 1489.914 cubic millimeters let's see I properties physical update 1489914 the same as the model that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye